Got a mask inside of me. You better watch out if you ignite me. A road ahead of full prophecy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day like the bones clean. All right, guys. Andy Elliott, welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. You know, every month I have guests that are on here every day, all the time. All we do is self-develop. This is what we talk about all day. But there's certain people that I see every month. And there's a guy, Eric, here, which you'll learn. Eric Klein, him and his amazing wife. He's got a kick-butt 11-year-old son. He's getting in good shape. They just got such a cool family. They've got a crazy story, but they're doing really cool stuff right now. Big-time winner. Um, they make a lot of money, but they're great people. Unbelievable hearts. They love investing in other people. And uh, you know me, I'm an underdog, man. So I'm really attracted to underdogs. And he's doing so much right now in helping other people that I just was like, man, dude, for like the next year, you know, at least once a month, me and you need to drop um, some kick-ass stuff to people all around the world, okay? So you'll see him a lot with me. Um, I tell you, I don't, I don't have people with me a lot, maybe with me one time. The reason why I have him with me a lot is because he brings a lot of value specifically in sales. And you guys know I love sales. And then also in real estate. So I learned there's a lot of different industries and a lot of people they can make money in certain industries but they don't like talking about that industry and I've learned that real estate is kind of a sexy subject you know hey hey what do you do for a living oh man I'm in real estate you know people like saying that the problem is a lot of people are in real estate and they don't really make a lot of money yeah so it sounds cool I'm in real estate but I'm not really earning a lot of money so Eric is coming into the space and he's been helping so many people be in real estate and make a shit ton of money Yep. So I love that. So anybody that I see bring a lot of value to somebody, like I want them to bring a lot of value to you guys. So Eric, number one, tell me a little bit about kind of what you're doing now. I'm glad to have you back here Appreciate again. It, brother. And, and you know, I can, uh, I see your eyes, you're on fire, you're yeah. changing, you're growing, you're self-developing, you're, yeah. you're leading by example. Um, let's let, tell everybody a little bit who you are, kind of what's going on now and let's drop some freaking badass value. Yeah. So I've been uh, spending a lot of time in Arizona Yeah. and uh, it, this place has caught my heart man it really has not only for me my wife my son uh we've told my daughter about arizona so we're excited to, to be here today and spend a lot more time so here. tell them you moved we uh we are in the process yeah so it. tell them about that like what's going on like what's happening in your life you know yeah. what industry you're on but you, you said you came here tell them a little story about like how, why are you moving yeah so i uh, we we moved to raleigh north carolina three years ago and we moved there so we could get our heads cleared. Mm -hmm. We just got, we, we just finished up a, a massive lawsuit. Yep. And I, as a grown man that was married and had kids and responsibilities now, I kind of, at, at what was I, 39 years old, I felt lost. Yep. I just lost a uh, multi million dollar, you know, eight figure company, getting ready to go through a nine figure exit. I lost it all overnight. And uh, hey, by the way, anybody watching this, I want to tell you this when you go after a big life, you're gonna lose. Yes, like, like people need to understand that. Like, most people don't talk about their losses, they don't talk about hard things. I love that you share openly, yes, about like mistakes, losses. I do just shit that can happen. You didn't do anything wrong, not one thing wrong, but but it happens, it happened. Okay, and when that stuff happens, you have an opportunity to quit. Yep. Or you have an opportunity to learn your lessons and go back again. And just keep grinding. And that's what you did. That's exactly what and, me and my wife did. Yeah, so so that happens. You yeah. get your headspace, you're in another place, you you get into you get into real estate, right? Which you had never been in. Never. I've I, the only real estate I knew was buying homes for my family. Yeah. Never flipped a house, never underwrote a deal, nothing like that. And so Didn't let's talk anything. about how quick you learned real estate on on your own and then let's lead up to why you moved and then what yep. you're doing now so as as far as so the industry i'm in is wholesaling mm -hmm. and we just flip real estate contracts i get you to sell me your house for 100 grand i put you under contract there's an assignment clause in there that says i can assign that contract to the guy sitting over here i get you for 100 i sell it to him for 120 i have now made twenty thousand yep. dollars at the closing table they give me that 20 grand. That's right. Right? So, and you're very good at this. I mean, my first 12 months, I did $2.6 million. All right. So let's, let's all pause everybody for just a minute. Okay. I want to stop them there because yep. it's early. You're hosting a hustle summit. Hustle summit. Uh huh. It's a hustle summit. Yep. It, guys, I've trust this guy so much. He's such a good guy. He's going to do it here in the Scottsdale, Arizona, Lion's Den in my, in my facility. It's going to be a private setting, 450 people, right? Yeah. Um, and you're going to be teaching how to do these flips 
the entire day. Is it a two-day event or one day? It's a one-day event, but yep. I'm breaking down the entire model. Okay, so like everybody understand this. His first year did 2.6. Just stop for a minute. What number can they text if they want to come? Do you have the number? I do not have okay, the Okay, I'm going to put it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to put it on the screen. You guys see that number? If you want to come to the Hustle Summit, yeah, it's going to be June 1st. If you're getting this in time, watch it June 1st. If you're not and you're watching it later, you're like, damn, I missed it. Mm -hmm. Okay? He's going to do more of them. But I want you to know this. This guy teaches what he does. Because what he did it, in this rebound, I'm going to call yes. it a rebound, from, from losing this business and him and his wife going through this together and family being heartbroken, they rebounded quickly in this deal. And he's like, oh, my God. And it worked for him. It worked so well. He has this amazing life now. And he teaches what he does because he has this abundance mindset that why doesn't everybody do this? And he teaches it to everyone. Yeah. Okay. And um, anyways, just sharing that with you. They can join you and you'll teach it. But like, let's go. So so year one, 2.6. Yeah. Um, and, and again, that, that was going into this space with no real estate background. I want to ask a question. Yes. Do you got to have cash to be able to do this? You need to... It, does it make it easier? Yes. There's okay. a lot of people out there that say, oh, you can get into it with no money. It, it's pretty tough unless you are out there knocking doors. Mm -hmm. Like you can go knock doors. You can find distressed properties. You can do all of that. Okay. If you have a little bit of money, you can outsource cold callers that can feed you motivated leads. Okay. But you're not physically having to buy any properties or do anything like that. Nothing like That's that. That's my point. Yes. So it may be you're talking about some money to have some hired help. Maybe someone yeah. help you make calls. Yes. You know, do things like that, right? Minimal. Minimal. Yeah, exactly. You got to have $100,000 to buy a home. Yeah. None of that. Yeah. Yeah. So he's talking, you know, if you got five, 10 grand that yep. you that you can start, start this with, um, you're in. There you go. Cool. Yeah. But you don't have to have the money to buy the homes no, and you stuff don't. like that because- you're assigning these over and then and you teach how all that works and then how to make these connections. From lead generation, I show you how to get the leads, okay. how to talk to the leads. I have a, a five-step sales process yep. that I have literally shot to so many people in this industry. Because, yep. you know, you teach sales, right? And most industries are full of amateurs. Mm -hmm. So it makes it easy for guys that have some background in sales, they have, you know, a process or they know how to talk to somebody it, it was easy to go in there my first year without knowing any because wholesaling isn't real estate. It's mm -hmm. sales and marketing. Yeah. The house just so happens to be the thing we're putting under contract. That's right. We're dealing with a, 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 a homeowner, a consumer that has a problem and to get access to money, the house gives them that. I've built multiple seven and eight figure businesses all over the telephone in under three years. Well, I'm going to open up the doors for you. I have partnered with the legendary Andy Elliott, and he has built a nine figure business in literally record time. I'm going to give you the exact blueprint on how to generate seven figures in 12 months or less. You need to run a new play in order to get different results. June 1st, I want you to clear your calendar and I'm going to see you at the lion's den. This is one you're not going to want to miss. Click the link below. If nothing changes, nothing's going to change. Hell yeah. So we're, we're really solving a problem. The house just is the bank for them to grab out cash, the That's equity right. they have. That's it. And by yeah. the way, um, so you teach them how to generate the customer, generate the lead. Yep. Lock them up them under contract. How to get it under contract, what to do. Yep. You teach them the script to get it to get it handled yep and you just teach them the a to z process how it works how to find a buyer once you have the contract yeah because once you have a contract now you got to go find somebody to sell that contract to. what if somebody doesn't understand what you're talking about right now because anything that's new to someone if i was you can't be good at it, yeah right? like if i gave you a hula hoop and i was like i need you to hula hoop you yeah. wouldn't be good but if i check back in 90 days and you practice every day right. you'd be a badass at of it. course can we explain that to people? Because honestly, when people hear wholesale real estate, like to yeah. me, I'm thinking uh, that like, yeah, I got to go to college. I got to learn that somewhere. Like that's above my, I don't understand that. Yeah. You know, it, to me, the name makes it sound like I have to be like super qualified yeah. to be good at it. Can you go into that? To, of course. To some stories, maybe of some of your students. Yeah, I, I can. I mean, there's there's a guy right now, Micah, in my elite group. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll actually be flying out to the event because he's never met me in person. Yeah. But uh, he he was doing he was in the corporate world. I don't know exactly what he did in corporate world, mm -hmm. but uh, he had found me on social media. I was actually a little shocked this guy was attracted to me. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, just 
like polar opposites. Yeah. And uh, he ended up joining my, my coaching program, had no sales background, didn't know how to generate leads, didn't know how to do any of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he didn't understand it either. But he heard enough, he heard the buzz about wholesaling. You watch online enough, you're going to see people getting some sizable checks for one deal. Yeah. You know, your average fee, assignment fee in this space is like 15000 My average is over 22000 Okay. So the, the way that the model works. Can, can I ask a question? Can yes. you know the model? Could I close one of these a month? Absolutely. Okay, so I just want everybody to realize something. Why you would want to stay tuned for this entire deal, why you'd want to go to the Hustle Summit. Yeah. Is just, I don't know what you do right now, but one deal a month, 22000 on average. Yes. And I said, can you do more? And he goes, absolutely. Okay, that leads me to believe this is a six-figure year job, low, low to mid-six, high to mid-six, low seven-figure job high seven figure job when you get good and you can build a team and probably get to eight figures. 100%. Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, like, so I want everybody to understand the earning opportunity, why yeah. they need to pay attention right now. So. Yeah. So Micah, let's let, I'm going to keep this on Micah. Yeah. Uh, when, when I first got on the, um, on the phone with him and we did our one-on-one -on -one consultation, he was very timid, shy. And so we, I gave him my sales training. I gave him a script. I give everybody a 13 page script. Mm -hmm. People thought I was crazy coming into this industry. They're like, oh, you can't script it out. Well, I have. And it's a very successful script yeah. for somebody that when someone answers the phone and they're, you know, they have that phone fear, my script gives them the confidence that they know what they're saying. That's amazing. So he, he has the script. I gave him all the training. He's been in the elite coaching group for 45 days. Mm -hmm. He has two cold callers feeding him leads. Uh -huh. He told me he works only 30 hours a week right now. He's got two younger kids. Mm -hmm. He's married and he wanted to build a business where he could travel to Canada and then come back to the States six months, six months. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, so in 45 days with no real estate background, he'd never flipped a house, bought a rental property, none of that. He, right now, 45 days into the program, he's at $135,000. What a beautiful life. And he, like, for him, he's even shocked. It's almost like it's not real for him. Mm -hmm. um, I, got a, I got a girl out of Chicago. She, is an I, she has a, a W-2 job in the corporate world, IT. And uh, she had come to me. Again, another one. I'm sure you get this a lot where yeah. you're like, how did you were attracted to well, me? Well, they're attracted that you are a teacher. Yeah. And that you're not full. Listen, you weren't planning to get into wholesale, whole, wholesale real estate. And you said like, damn, like anybody can be good at this. Anybody. And if you could be good at it and you weren't planning to do it, and then you figured out the blueprint. And yeah. if you'll share the blueprint, anybody that wants to do what you did yep. is going to want to know that same blueprint. Yeah. Because just like you weren't really qualified to be in real estate, you never done it except for buy your own house. All these other people, they have jobs and things going mm -hmm. on. And it sounds like this is something that you don't even have to do full time. You can do as, I mean, I'm going to say like a side hustle, but you can do as like a, a gig, you know, 20 hours a week. So this story right here is that side hustle. Mm -hmm. She, uh, she, she has a full time W2 job, makes $140,000 a year. The year prior to meeting me she started dabbling in the wholesale industry. So she knew about it. She proved the concept that she could do deals. Mm -hmm. An entire year, she did $70,000 mm -hmm. doing it part-time. Hey guys, so as you're watching this video right now, I want you to know this Hustle Summit that's coming up June 1st in the Lion's Den, okay? This is my boy, Eric, right here in the Lion's Den. It's gonna be 450 people, private um, setting to learn, scale, grow, recreate yourself. The more you develop, the more you learn, the more you earn, okay? You guys see the number on the screen right now. If you wanna to come to the Hustle Summit, all you gotta do is text this number. Now, if you're watching this video after June, you're like, damn, I missed it. Text the number, we do them all the time, and we'll let you know about the next event. So let's kill it, guys, I love you. My goal is to bring a lot of value to you, have you make this year your year to become a millionaire, which you can, okay? You just need to know what you don't currently know. So text the number, guys. Let's get back to the video. She had no systems, no sales training, nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and when I started working with her, uh, she did uh, the the following year. She did. She goes, all I want to do is match my W two job, and I'll quit it. And I'm like, all right, what if we beat what you're making in your W two job? Will you quit your job? And uh, in 90 days, 
she did a hundred in 90 days. She did like $170,000. That's so cool, man. The next 12 months, she did $360,000 all virtually over the telephone. Mm -hmm. She still has her W2 job. She's bought this brand new house. And like, it's so cool to see people that do have that limiting belief where it's like, is it real? Yeah. Like, can I really do this? It's as real as rain. Like you, you can make, you don't have to know jack crap about real estate. I teach you all the sales. I teach you how to get the leads. I literally give you a business in a box. I love it. And then all you have to do is stick to the plan. Like don't try and reinvent a wheel. Just do it. I've already figured it out. Just run the play. Run the play and stick to the plan. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Yeah. So, so let's, so let's go. So you're doing that. You're in, um, what state with your wife? North Carolina. You're in North Carolina. Um, you guys, uh, come out here. Yep. We, we meet, we, um, do. we, uh, and then, and then what happens? You start, you start getting ready for phase three of your life now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, just to kind of be vulnerable and, and fully transparent. Like, uh, I have had multiple mentors, coaches, all of that. Mm -hmm. Right. I am a firm believer in always having somebody uh, to one, look up to, or being next to somebody that's doing what you want to do or living the life that you want to live. Mm -hmm. All of that. I'm a firm believer in it. Uh, for the last probably 13 years, I've always had that person in my life. And, uh, there was, I was, I was kind of like soul searching of, of what, what I was going to do with my life. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I had been up until probably six months ago. I had no clue who you were. Mm -hmm. never heard of Andy Elliott. One of your, uh, Brendan got a hold of me and, uh, I started watching it and, you know, just knowing what I know, I'm like, all right, is this real? Mm -hmm. Is it real? And, uh, I wanted, Brendan was, man, your team, I can say this right now, your team is on point. And I, I value what you've been able to build you. It, and it's not fake. Yeah. It's not fake. I can feel it. I tell my wife, you know, their team, your, your team, your team is so genuine. Um, I know when I'm talking to them or I shake their hand or they give us hugs, yeah. like they're, they're real. Yep. They mean something. And, and they're glad you're here, man. And, and we feel that yeah. we feel that. And, uh, we came out here and, uh, it, and I, again, being brutally honest, man, I brought my son out here, but two VIP tickets to one of your training and I'm like, I want to see if this guy even knows what he's really talking about when it comes to sales training, mm -hmm. because I consider myself to be good at sales. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I, I, have, I haven't had a coach in years when it came to sales. Like people always ask me, who's your mentor in sales? Well, it's been the call centers. I I've been in for the, the last 13 years. Yeah. I've never like actually had a coach coach or a mentor mm -hmm. when it comes to sales. I've never really had that. Um, the one guy would have been my manager that managed my call center in my last company. He was a stud on the phones. I learned a lot from him, Yeah. but him and I don't have a good relationship. And I'm like, man, I, I need somebody to help sharpen my skills mm -hmm. and, uh, bought me and my son two VIP tickets. Uh, I think my son was the youngest kid yeah. in, or person in so. the He's crowd. He's 11 years old. Yeah. And we got VIP seats. And, uh, I even told him, I'm like, buddy, we, you know, we're going to go to with a sales training. It's about solar, I think, but I'm here to see whether or not this guy knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And dude, I was shocked. Like I was shocked. Yeah. It, it, like anybody that's asked me, they're like, is it real? And I'm like, bro, this guy's on another level when it comes to sales. Mm -hmm. And I mean that, Yeah. like you, you, you know what the hell you're talking about, man. And, I and that. I respect that. Um, it, I respect it so much. Like I got a cigar lounge at my house and uh, I, I, I go up in my cigar lounge now and I'm like, man, this motherfucker's better than me. Like I got to get my shit right. So you pushed me yeah, because good. sometimes you're a legend in your own mind. And when you're in Raleigh, North Carolina and I'm in a wholesale and I'm in the wholesale industry and I do think I'm the elite of the elite sure. in the wholesale yeah, space. You kill it. Yeah. But you know, being around somebody, that's a couple, you know, steps above me. I'm like, all right, Eric, you got to get to work. I made a post the other day. I got anxiety. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm anxious. 
And it's because I know right now it's the time to grow. Yeah. And I feel it. Yeah. Like I your feel body, it. Your body's screaming. Dude, I can't wait. Yeah. But we're in North Carolina to answer your question. I get off on tangents sometimes. No, I love it. That's yeah. this leads up to why you made a decision. So we're in Raleigh, North Carolina. And um, me and my wife moved there and we've, we've, it was exactly what we needed for three years. Mm -hmm. I needed to find myself. I needed to get back to work. I needed to build the confidence, uh, confidence again after getting knocked down by mm -hmm. the lawsuit. Uh, Cause it, it. You need dude, to rem remind yourself who you were. I, I did. Mm -hmm. In North Carolina did that because what I did is I went to a town I knew nobody. Me and my wife didn't know a single person in this town. And her and I built a seven figure business in 12 months from scratch. I love that. And it gave me the confidence of, man, I didn't get lucky the first time. We can actually do this again. Yep. Everything we did, we brought the systems, the processes, the grit, the tenacity into this one, but we did it so much quicker. And I was like, holy shit, we did that a couple years faster than we did the last one. That's so cool. Yeah, so in, you know, we're in, we're in North Carolina and we come out here to Arizona. I meet you, I meet the team. Just the networking, the 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 energy, mm -hmm. like I don't, I can't find that in North Carolina. Yeah, I need to be sitting at a table where when I'm at the table, I'm one of the guys mm -hmm. that's the small guy around that table. Yeah, you know, because it won't be that way for long. It well in North Carolina, I can't find at. That's right. I go out to eat. Me and my wife are, you know, we, we're making the most money. We're driving the nicest cars. Our conversations, I feel like I'm bragging. Yeah. But I just want to share wins. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I want to say something, too, about that. Like, when you win, it feels good to talk about winning. Yes. With people. And then when you're around people who aren't winning, it, they're like, why are you bragging? It's like, we're not, we're just, this is like how we talk. Yeah, man. Like, we just talk about, like, leveling up. Everything. 24-7. Yes. You know I want to I mean? talk about that. Yeah. So you come out here, you and your wife just bought a home. Yeah. Yeah. In Paradise Valley. So cool. Yeah, dude. It's in, and it's, uh, Shyla is in her own world right now. Cause we're going to rehab the whole inside right before coming here to do this with you. We were, yeah. she was picking out appliances and all this stuff. So like, we're super excited That's so to cool. start this new journey. Well, in this point that you're going through now, this journey, right, is yeah. with you, it's with her, it's with your son. Yep. And basically what you learned in North Carolina, all that skill and yes. what you're doing now, which now you're on a whole nother level, you're catching fire again, yeah. is that now you're teaching yes. how anyone and everyone can do exactly what you just did, which means they can do it part-time yep. and make a lot of money. They can go all-time and uh, full-time and yep. do it. Um, and you're mentoring these people. I can, it, I'm, I'm confident enough that what I teach them, they can replace, but I would say 99% of the people out there, I can replace and two to three X their income within 12 months. I love I'm it. confident in that. Well, and by the way, everybody watching this, I mean, that's what they want. Yes. Right. Like, like that's what everybody wants. And I think that a lot of people think that like, maybe they have to be, have certain qualifications or maybe, you know, and then that's why I love, that's why I think I'm so attracted to your style is because you learned it quickly. You were self-taught. Yeah. You have always had mentors. So you believe in self-development. Yes. You found a, a, a niche, which is a massive market of real estate. You figured out how like, and by the way, this is really recession proof. Am I right? 100%. Like, can we talk about that a little bit? Because I think that like, like some niches are good for a while. Yep but maybe they're going to die out in two years. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, e-commerce was big for a while and then it got flooded. Right. Yep. But like this wholesale real estate little sector, yep. like the economy gets bad. It's great. Economy gets good. It's great. It's great. Economy stays the same. It's great. It's great. It's like, so we're finding a, a hundred percent of the deals that we do and the way we generate our leads, mm -hmm. they're off market properties. So we don't go after homes that are listed on the MLS with a realtor and all that. So we're yeah, looking for yeah, off market. Your, your strategy is totally different yes. than everyone else's strategy yeah. on the market. And that saturated strategy that how people have been operating for yes. so long is why 
they're getting their their balls kicked in couldn't agree more yeah and since you have a different approach and a different strategy and one of the things that you know how to do is generate leads really well i can generate them by the truckload yes and that to me is the secret yes to making this not stressful yep because if somebody doesn't teach you how to generate the leads and they just teach you wholesale real estate you so stressful. Oh, God, yeah. Because you can't find a customer. It's it's all uh, marketing and sales. Mm -hmm. Wholesaling is marketing, lead gen, and sales. Yep, and you teach all of that. Yeah, I teach it all. Yeah, that's right. There, there's not a stone left unturned after they get done working with me. So the 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 way that we do it, and this is just, we, we go for all off-market off deals. Mm -hmm. And again, whether the economy is good, bad, or just okay, People are always going to, life is going to show up. Yep. It's all about time and circumstances. Yep. And when we buy homes, we're buying homes anywhere from 50 to 60 cents on the dollar. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be an investor out there that wants that property. Always. Always. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, it's, it, it is recession proof. Yep. And again, whether the economy is good or bad, there's going to be families that go through divorces. Life happens. Life happens. Uh -huh. Financial hardships. Uh, my my parents die, and I inherit a property in Alabama, and I don't want a property in Alabama. I'm going to fire sale the thing. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Yep. before it goes to crap you know what i mean so the the wholesaling industry for it, it's not one of those get rich quick and mm -hmm. it's going to be here today and gone tomorrow yeah real estate is always going to be that's relevant right. always that. that's so cool man. yeah yeah i love it man so, so so anybody watching this right now you guys remember you got the hustle summit coming up okay yes. you guys see the number on the screen make sure you text it Make sure you guys get a ticket to the Hustle Summit. It's going to be here. You guys will meet me. More importantly, you guys are going to learn from him, which is like so important to me. Um, you guys, anybody in any industry could add an additional half a million bucks to your your check. Easy. Yeah, but that's a that's a life changing deal, man. Yes, it is. And then if you're psycho and you're obsessed, yep. um, like we are, right? Like a lot of you want to be. You're not yet, but it's because you haven't found. A, a vehicle or a boat to really h row hard in. Yeah. You know, I was telling somebody that the other day. Everybody, somebody's like, dude, you know, why do you row so hard? Why do you go so crazy? I'm like, dude, I love what boat I'm in. Yep. Like, like if I was in a different boat, I maybe wouldn't row this hard. Couldn't if I was in a you. boat that had limiting potential or had an earning cap, like, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't row as hard. But since I know the scoreboard, it really favors the boat I'm in. Right. Like, I want to run that score up. Yeah. And so you're in an industry right now that yeah. you can run the scoreboard up big time. Yeah. And when you see someone that was making 70 grand that goes to making, you know, like that girl, her, her, life her 70 changed. grand job plus making 360 over here, and she's doing it as a hustle. Like, that girl's making half a million. Now she's buying a new house. She's, you know, not stressed out. She's got the best life ever. Yep. Um, just crazy. A lot of people think that this stuff is fake. Honestly, like, I know my life's real. You know your life's real. A lot of people know that people, they see that their other people life is real. But they don't know. I don't think people feel like that they could do this. Like, I really want to go with that. Like, so, what? We, just talking directly to our audience. Yeah. You know. Like, let's go through some shit that you've been through and how, like, like let's identify some problems, some holes, some, some things, some limiting beliefs. Let's, let's take every limiting belief that you've ever heard, why yeah. I can't do this, and let's surface it right I, now. I mean, I can go back to when I started wholesaling. This, it was just under three years ago. I had lost my company, and it, I, I just said it on this podcast. I thought I got lucky on my first business, mm -hmm. and I heard about wholesaling. I even was like, b before I made that first phone call, I was like, man, are people really going to sell me their house over a telephone? I don't do Zoom calls. Mm -hmm. I don't go out to these homes. I'm like, I've done ADT home alarms over the phone. I've done credit repair, debt consolidation, all these different campaigns over the phone. But to get somebody to sell their house over a phone, I'm like, man, that's a big ask where they've never even seen me and they're going to sign a contract saying I'm going to buy their home and I'm trying to get it at a massive discount. Mm -hmm. I had those limiting beliefs coming into this space. 
thank God I knew a couple guys that were doing it and I could fact check mm. whether or not it was real. That's cool. You know what I mean? And that's why with my social media and what I've tried doing, and I think the reason people, so many people think it's fake is there are a lot of, there, there's a lot of misleading information or coaches or gurus out there, mm. yeah. which there's a lot of that. I would say majority of it is fake, yep. right? Show versus real. A hundred percent. And what I've done and I've made it a point to do is be transparent. I'm constantly showing my CRM. I'm, I'm showing my team on the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm letting them hear me on the phone calls. Like it's to help people that are out there that are, are stuck in life and they're trying to find the new boat to row in. Like if you watch my social media, my social media is filled with, no, he, I pull back the curtains and I let them see everything. Mm -hmm. I show them my lead conversions, how many leads it takes to get a contract. I show them how much talk time one of my closers has to get every single day before they get an actual contract signed. Mm -hmm. How many dials do they have to make every single day? Like that's not the sexy part most coaches like to show. No, but that's what it takes to be successful. That's why I show it. Yeah. And it's like, I could show you all the fat checks and all that, but like, if I don't show you the work behind it, yeah. like, you know, you can make an extra 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a month. And when I say it's easy, it's easy to do it because I can give you the blueprint. The one thing I can't give you is the grit, the hustle that you have to put into it mm -hmm. and the consistency of getting, you know, getting up every day, getting your teeth kicked in and being okay doing it over again. So what keeps you hungry? What are some things that you could tell people how you stay hungry? Yeah. So, um, you say you're an underdog, man. I'm, I'm an underdog. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am, I'm coming up on 15 years clean and sober from any mood or mind altering drugs, uh, or al al alcohol, like anything. I don't put any of it in my system. And, uh, I, I, uh, at 28 years old, I had two choices. I could either take my life or I could start living again mm -hmm. because th the taking my life actually sounded more appealing to me mm -hmm. than facing the, the reality of, of where I was at at 28 years old. Mm -hmm. And at 28, when I decided to get clean and change, um, it was to save my life. It was for nobody else. And I had for 28 years been so destructive, ruined so many relationships. I let everybody around me down, mm -hmm. um, including myself. And when I was able to pull myself up from that, the only thing I ever wanted in my life was a family. Mm -hmm. Like that was it. I didn't feel like I was a part of my family growing up. I was a middle child and I've built a family. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful wife. I have two beautiful kids. I was able to adopt my daughter from a, from a, you know, her, the, the first man to ever break her heart was her biological father. And uh, he's still out running the streets, but you know, she had me to be able to step into her life. That's amazing. And what keeps me motivated every single day is I want to give my family a life beyond their wildest dreams. That's and cool. I enjoy it. Like people's like, man, that's real cliche that uh, you say you're doing it for your family. It's not cliche because that's all I ever wanted. Mm -hmm. Like the material shit that I have in my life is amazing. You could strip all that away as long as I still got my wife, my two kids, and my dogs. I'm going to be okay, man. But the, the, the money that I've been able to, to make, me and my wife, and what it's been able to do for our family, for the people around us, you know, to be able to tell my family – you know, that's still in the Midwest. Hey, I'm going to buy all you guys plane tickets and you can come to my lake house and hang out for a week. We'll go out on the boat. Dude, that means something to me. Yeah. I always say this and I love everything you said. I was listening to everything and I always say like where there's where you are and then there's where you want to go. Yeah. Right. And you got to know like what you want. Yes. And you got to know like, what does success mean to you? Yes. And you just gave your definition of success. Everybody has a different definition. Your definition was you wanted a family yeah, and you wanted to make something of your life and you wanted to do, you wanted to be proud of you. Yeah. And I wanted something. to prove a bunch of people yeah, that I love that shit, bro. No, you, you, you I, I, I was only that guy for a little while. Now let me show you how far I can go. Yeah. And you're anchored, your anchor to like why you want to win Yes, is anchored to be like, dude, I always wanted someone to love me. Yes. And so like, you want to make your family like feel special you all wanna, of them you want to 
because that's that love that you crave. Yeah. And there's layers to ask people like, I always say like, hey, why do you want to be successful? And somebody will say, oh, because I want to be financially free. Well, that's a top layer answer. Yeah. Um, ask them about 10 more times. All right. Appreciate that answer. But there's something else. Yeah. And then they answer it again. Yeah, but there's got to be something else. And after about the 10th time they answer it, they start saying, well, shit, man, you know, and then they'll give you the real answer. Mm -hmm. And usually they'll get emotional. Yeah. Or and, almost did. <laughs> yeah. And they'll tear up. <laughs> yeah. And that emotion. Yeah. If you can get emotion and anchor that yeah. to a goal. Yeah. No one can stop you. Yeah. No, no I one, agree, man. No one can stop you. And no one knows most of the time what they want and they don't really know why they want it. Yeah. So like, even if you find out what you want, you got to ask yourself when you don't feel like doing the work, when you don't feel like waking up, when you don't feel like, you know, giving the extra today, yep. when you don't feel like spending any more money on self-development, when you don't feel like doing all this, like why will you keep doing it? Yep. And there has to be some emotion anchored yeah. to a really good reason. And I think your two reasons are number one, your family. And I think that's real. And I think yeah. number two, you want to burn your haters eyes out. Dude. You want to, you want to say, Hey, you bet against me. Yeah. All right. Watch this. Yeah. And I love that. Shit. Yeah. Cause a lot of people, when, it, when that, you know, my first business went the way it did, uh -huh. my phone stopped ringing, you know, the everybody disappeared when he got, when he got in trouble, everybody, yeah. everybody yeah. disappeared, yeah. but a very few and all the ones that, that that scattered dude my like i i got a a, a tat two tattoos on my ankle and my wife does out of all my tattoos she doesn't like these two uh -huh. it literally says fuck you yeah and that's to everybody that well, doubted me well and see but but your wife's never doubted you yeah yeah and right you know, and she stayed with you 100 percent and, and the, 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 that's why you're so loyal to her. Yes. Because her loyalty surpassed everyone else's. Yeah, man. Right? And that's why your loyalty is crazy. Now you're looking for your chosen family. Yes. Which I think why you moved to Arizona. 100%. Because you need to be around your breed. Yep. People that identify with your wife, your child, you, your crazy ass visions. Yes. Um, and then also to figure out how do we integrate um, what we need to do next with this big vision. Yep. Because I'm going to tell you how I grew my business. I, I'm the visionary. I have 20 new ideas every week. Yep. <laughs> I have to integrate which one of these ideas actually will work. Yes. And I have to have people around me that are called integrators. Yep. They take my crazy ass ideas and they try to figure out which one of those ideas we can actually make to life mm -hmm. and then how to do it because I'm not the how to guy. Yep. I'm just the crazy visionary yep. running around. And so your wife is more of the integrator. Yes. And you're more the visionary. Yeah, I'm the crazy guy. Yeah. And there's a book called Rocket Fuel. Have yes. you ever read it? I've heard of it, haven't read it. Okay. Everybody needs to read it. Got it. Right now, you need to read it. Yep. She done. needs to read it. Paperback book, audio, soak it up. When you listen to it, you're going to be like, I just made a hundred million dollars. Let's go. Like I just learned how to make a hundred million dollars because I understand the visionary and the integrator yep. and how they're two totally different. Um, I'm the visionary and I, you know, my wife is like the, I call, I don't call her that, but like she calls herself this, the money bitch. Love it. I'm like, we got to do this. We gotta. She's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, babe, what do, what do? and she's like, no. And she has the hard conversations and she tells us everything we don't want to hear. Yep. And I'm like, why are you so mean? Yeah. She's the integrator. Yeah. Is her name Shyla? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, she's the integrator. And without the integrator, yeah. the visionary doesn't live. <laughs> right. And the visionary will never. Listen, I know lots of people right now that are visionaries. And they've never come to light and no one knows who they are. And they've never created anything great because they don't, don't have, have an integrator. integrator. They don't have her. Yeah. And they don't have my wife. Yep. And my wife is the integrator. My wife is actually the visionary and the integrator. Yeah. She's the visionary and the integrator. You're just a visionary. Yeah. You might integrate a sales process, know how to sell, but I'm the, I'm the visionary. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the one out there throwing magic around and shit. Yep. Right. But they're the one making the magic come to life. Yeah. And so like when you're around people that are doing visionary work and integration, you're like, dude, I got to be close to these people because that's what I need to do next. hundred percent. And so like, anyways, the power of proximity, being around the right people. And, um, again, you know, us being underdogs yes. and, you know, um, you said, I, you have these tattoos on your ankles. I was thinking um, Dana White, right? He has this big poster on his wall. Um, I've watched a lot of his podcasts. 
Um, he built the UFC. Obviously, a lot of people didn't want to see him built it. Um, you know, and uh, he had this. He has a saying. It says, um, "It says bet against me." Mm. And then it says, may God have mercy on my enemies That's because, what, because I won't. It. Yeah. yeah. I love it. And it says, say it won't happen. You know, tell me, you know, I'm not going to do it. It says, I love it. I love every second of it. And I just yeah. remember seeing that. And I was like, dude, I love that. And I'm a Christian, but I'm like, may God have mercy on my enemies because I won't. Yes. Hey guys. So as you're watching this video right now, I want you to know this hustle summit that's coming up June 1st in the lion's den. Okay. This is my boy, Eric, right here in the lion's den. It's going to be 450 people, private um, setting to learn, scale, grow, recreate yourself. The more you develop, the more you learn, the more you earn, okay? You guys see the number on the screen right now. If you want to come to the Hustle Summit, all you got to do is text this number. Now, if you're watching this video after June, you're like, damn, I missed it. Text the number. We do them all the time, and we'll let you know about the next event. So let's kill it, guys. I love you. My goal is to bring a lot of value to you, have you make this year your year to become a millionaire, which you can, okay? You just need to know what you don't currently know. So text the number, guys. Let's get back to the video. Which means if you bet against me, I'm not going to say anything to you. Yep. I'm going to torture you yep. with success. Yep. You're going to see me win. And by the way, even if I lose, data back, I'm going to come back and I'm going to kick ass. Yes. You can't hold me down. Love it. And, and like I, so I love people that have that mentality and that's fuel to, mm. to keep us obsessed and psycho and winning. And it makes me feel alive. And yes. honestly, that edge is my fountain of youth. It's probably yours too. It makes, it takes me back to my twenties. It, it makes me, I'm 44. People are like, oh, you're getting old. I'm like, dude, I'm not fucking old. I'm I hope young. not. I'm 43, bro. Yeah, but like, <laughs> but like, I'm young. Yeah, like, dude, I run with 20 year olds. Yeah, I mean, I don't run with old people. And if I if they if they are older, they operate like 20 year olds yeah. as well, because it's like our mind. We feel 18, mm -hmm. and we're always optimized. Um, being being a, a high performer yeah. in, in this industry is about finding what optimizes you. Right. Like, like what makes me feel better? What gives me an edge? What person do I be around that when I leave them, I'm in a better mood? Yep. You know, like, where do I go that makes me happier? What do I do? And, and you start to realize all this data and then you just choose all these things that are good for you and your goal is to put it all in one place. hundred percent. Yeah. That's why we're bringing our ass out here to AZ. Yeah. And dude, <laughs> I told you your next year is going to yeah. be a ride of a lifetime. We're ready for it. You know? And I mean, from fitness to your marriage to kids. And by the way, everybody watching this, like, I want to say something that you said, and, and this is the second time you're doing it and you may have done it before, but when you needed to change your identity, you moved. Um, I think it was important for you to be around people that didn't know you yeah. so you could behave the way that you wanted to behave. Uh, you could have the ability to forgive yourself. Yep. You could have the opportunity to start over um, and, and not see uh, – and, and listen, I, I'm not telling anybody they have to move, but where you were, you knew the landmarks, you knew the grocery store you used yeah. to go to, you, you knew all that. It's like you got to get you got to get away from that. There's a, a mom, she lost her daughter, and she just couldn't live in that house no more. That she won't go back in the house. She got she had to move. She had to. Yeah, yeah. Um, I relate that to sometimes people having um, like losing a big business. This is our way out. We're this close. You guys were sixty days away. Yeah. You had to get the freak out of there. We had to go. You, you, you're like, we're not going to sit here and be reminded of this. We're leaving. And you know what your mind's really good at doing? Deleting information. It really is. Yeah. Okay. My mind. See, I, I, I hated Oklahoma. I, well, no, I didn't hate it at the time. But when I got away, I said, I'm never going back. Mm -hmm. So I told my dad, um, I said, I'm never going back to Oklahoma. Even if he dies, I'm not going back. Yeah. I've already made it clear to my family. And they say, well, I don't understand. I just made a decision that I wasn't proud of who I was there. I didn't go around and rob banks. Just didn't like me. It'll never so, be home base again. Well, these landmarks, yes. I don't want to see them anymore. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to see them. I had a company offer us a couple hundred grand to go speak for an hour in Oklahoma. Not I happening. Said, I don't even fly over Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, we go around it, right? <laughs> and 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 listen. And a lot of people, I'll get a lot of shit for yeah, that. Yeah. But like. I just don't go there. I get it. Um, so anyways, like that mother's not going back in that house yeah. for any reason. Yep. Doesn't matter. She, you don't go there. It's like you create these landmarks that remind you of your old life. And I yeah. don't want to be reminded of who I used to be because I buried that guy. Of course. And, um, and so I always say like minds 
are really good at deleting information. And so when you move to Arizona and you come here now, your mind is deleting information and new information's coming in. New yep. experiences, you know, new people. Yeah. It's like, dude, like all now, of it. You're on fire. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that anybody watching this, like it's a good thing for people to get away from something instead of trying to figure it out where you're at, just up the, move. Yeah. The the worst case scenario, you just have to go back. Yeah. Worst case scenario, right? Yeah. And for, if you, for anyone that's thinking about doing it. Yeah. And if you don't move, I'm going to tell yeah. you what you have to do. You have to set a new tone immediately. Yep. That means if you're my friend, like that friend, if I decide to change that friend, more than likely, once they learn who I want to become, mm -hmm. they'll no longer want to be my friend. Yep. Okay. So I immediately set a new tone and that person probably won't like me anymore. Yeah. So if you're going to stay where you're at, you got to set a new tone immediately and you got, and you can't waver off of it. Um, but, but let's, uh, let's talk about a couple more things real quick, but hustle summit. Yes. It's kick ass. Obviously it's a one day event, Scottsdale, Arizona, live in the lion's den. You're going to be teaching a to Z wholesale, real estate, how to flip everything that you did from the second you got in to what you've learned now. Um, it's, it's what they have those... to do is show up, right? Yeah, and everyone says, hey, man, it's it's the best event of the industry and all that. But I, I've been to enough wholesaling uh, events out there. Yeah. And the one thing that I can say about this one that, that I'm going to put together, and thank you for opening up the lion's den, is it is going to be tactical information. It's huge. Tactical. Yeah. To where. It's a playbook. If you show up and you go home and implement. All you got to do is show up and uh, for an entire day, I am going to compress what I've done in three years from like from Mark, everything, yep. find the leads, talk to the leads, get rid of the leads, how to get the, the, the big juicy $20,000. Like when I say I, I, I'm not going to, you guys can follow Andy to get all jacked up and motivated and like, that's how I'm even uh, pitching this one is, dude, I'm not there to motivate you. I'm there to give you tactical information. You're ready to teach. Yes. Yeah. And you're, and you're the grandmaster at these wholesale flips where people can do it as a part-time job. They can do it full-time. You really don't care. You want to, you want to arm them and weaponize them with the ability to earn more money for their families. That's it. In an industry right now that is totally untapped. And yes. you're going to teach them how to generate these leads where it's not stressful. It's super simple. Yep. And all they got to do is show up. All they have to do is show up. There's a guy that, uh, works with you guys. Mm -hmm. Um, Connor Donnelly, mm -hmm. I think is his na last yep. name. Yep. And, uh, Man, he jumped on, he's out of, he does deals out of Knoxville. Yeah. Great dude. Yeah. It seems like everyone you guys got around you are great people. Yeah. Uh, they're they're it, all like-minded. They're just yes. coachable. Yes. Yes. And uh, I threw, him and I connected, um, and I ended up putting him on some of my cold callers. He's like, dude, I've tried cold callers from everybody. None of them ever worked. I'm like, you haven't had my cold callers. Yeah. I gave him, uh, he, he got five of my cold callers that I train all of them. Mm -hmm. I train all, I, I got a 10,000 square foot office yeah. over in Pakistan that's filled with cold callers Love that it. I train. Yeah. And they generate leads for people in the space. Yeah. And uh, he was like, dude, let me get five of them. And I'm like, all right, cool. There's five of them. He called me the day at, and this guy knows his stuff. Yeah. So I knew if he was going to lock a deal up, it was going to be a good deal. Uh huh. And uh, he called me the day after his first day getting his first set of leads. And he was like, Eric, you're not going to believe this. I got three deals my first day. And I'm like, all right, are they good deals though? And he was like, minimum 30 grand per deal. Damn. And I'm like, so you made 90 grand today? And he was like, dude, let's see what happens over this next week. Yeah. He was like, maybe I got lucky. His first... Five days, he did 11 contracts. All right, so let's stop right there. Everybody needs to be, it's not going to be virtual. Uh, I, no, I, yeah, it's in person. Yeah, but I want to explain that. It's not going to be virtual, guys. Make sure you understand this. Hustle Summit, you see the number on the screen, you text. It's that simple. Yeah. You text. It's going to be June 1st, Scottsdale, Arizona, Lion's Den, change your life, make more money than you know what to do with. The second you see this, number you text 
He'll get you the information, get your ticket, be here. It's that simple. Yeah. If June 1st has passed and you're watching this and you're like, damn, text the number. What's the next event? That's it. And then that way he yeah. can make sure he gets you squared away from there. Yep. Either way, you need to connect with him. He'll teach you. Let's kick ass. Something, something you want to end with. You watch people every day, right? Call it. They're in a cloud, they're in a matrix, they're in whatever. Everybody uses their term yeah. of like, they're just robots in life. Yep. Okay. How does someone become financially free? How does someone really get to that next level? Right. Um, wh what, 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 what's made you have the entrepreneur spirit? Right. Like, yeah. let's end it with, with something that you would tell people. Yeah. It, it, it may seem super, super simple, but, uh. I had to get rid of everyone I was hanging out with and get a new circle. That's so good. I, so and, and I, and I, I bring it to that. And, and that's again, the reason why me and my family are making this massive move. Mm -hmm. We need a new circle. Mm -hmm. That's so good. So your circle, again, if, if you look at the people you're hanging out with, I mean, at the end of the day, that's you'll become who you're with. You become who you're with. Yeah. And so I want everybody to remember this, right? If you're around people, that all they do is talk about problems. Yep. You're in the wrong circle. Yes. If you're with people that all they do is talk about solving problems, you're in the right and circle. And a great life, which is not bragging. Yeah. Well, dude, listen, if you want to make a lot of money, yes. you solve problems. Yes, 100%. If you don't want to make a lot of money, you don't solve any problems. Yep. And that's why, like, anytime that we're together, we're always talking about solving this, solving that, solving this, solving yep. that. You know, I learned if you want to make little baby commissions, solve little tiny problems. Yep. People that don't get paid a lot, they solve little tiny problems. You want to get paid a lot of money, you figure out how to solve big problems. You know how you solve big problems? Real estate, there's a lot of problems in there. And if you position yourself to find out where these problems are and you know how to solve them, which yes. is what you teach, yep. you get paid to be the middleman in what you're doing. Yep. Little to, I don't want to say no money, but it, you don't need a ton of money to get yeah. in this space. Yeah, you can have a credit card and get started. Get started immediately and have success. Yeah, I see it all the time. That's what I was yep. saying. But you're never having to front the money, do a loan, get nope. stuff like that. And I think a lot of people, when they think about real estate, they think about loans, down payments, they think all these. You're like, dude, that's not what we're talking about here. You don't ever buy right. the house. Yeah, you're yeah, you're you're not you're not buying rental properties yep. here. You're you're doing something totally different that doesn't really require any of that. Yes. So guys, listen, number one, Eric Klein, how do they follow you on Instagram? The Eric Kleins, uh E R I C C L I N E. Put a the in front of it. That's how you find me. The Eric Klein. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. Super important. You guys text the number, you get connected with him. I always try to bring you guys a lot of value. Eric has given you a ton of value on this. Your goal is, is that you want to learn what he knows. Everything that he knows, you guys need to know it. If you guys know it, you guys will get rich. And by the way, at the end of the day, I love learning from people that know things. And I'm like, just want to be as knowledgeable as possible. Yeah. I want to be as financially smart as possible. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to spend this whole day and learn everything. And by the way, listen, guys, this is your opportunity. This is your way out. Okay. Know that you're worth it. Everybody's qualified. Eric told you, he said, I don't care who you are. Once you commit, I won't let you fail. Yep. Okay, so make sure you text the number. Eric, we appreciate you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Much love, guys. Kill it. We'll see you guys in the next podcast. Hey, guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. To be hard, listen to darkness. Tore apart quick, you left scars ripped to be chewed up and discarded.